know we hate taking the trash out, but take the trash out, nigga. Letting it pile up. Get your lazy. You know what? Up. Uh, take the trash out. You know, my body is really, really sore right now. Because I've been going crazy in the gym as of late. So I'm going to hop in a hot tub. Kick with y'all for a little bit. We gotta move that. We gotta move that too. Little random little question, cause I watched this video earlier. I was like, that's a good question. But it is a question that I've been wondering myself too. But I can't ask it right now because if I do, it's gonna be like a little offensive for these people I'm walking by right now. But uh, yeah, I can ask it now. All right. So my question is this: You ever notice how quiet Asian people are about racism? I say it again. Hold on. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you very much. Nice person. Anyways, you ever notice how quiet Asian people are about racism? This ain't no political, or, you know what I mean? No race talk or nothing like that. I just thought it was a good question. Yeah. I'm just saying. You no, know, I ain't the only one that thought that. Anyways, we about to dip in. I could get in here and chill for a little minute. Perfect, because as you can see, I'm going to give you a full. Nobody's out here, so I'm all dolo. Just how I like to be most of the time. I can just relax my muscles a little bit. My back, my legs. I played ball the other day. My legs were like, uh, my uh, hip. I done messed my hip up. I went to go. I slid kind of like crazy. Just trying to defend somebody. Life is what you make it. You want to have a misery? Hold on, what is that? Hold on, hold on. I always got this fear. When I get in the jacuzzi, I got this fear of it. A snake just popping up out of nowhere and just swimming around this mug and shooting, biting me or something. It's a little stupid little kitty childish fear, but I'll be having that fear when I be in water. I don't know why. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Look. Life is what you make it. If you want to be successful, you have to think positive. You have to act on that every day. If you want to be negative, you want to be miserable, I'm sure you, you have to act on that every day too. And that's always got to be in your mind. To be negative, to be miserable, to look at the next person's mistakes, to look at the next person's flaws. A lot of people get caught up in that web and then they, they spiral into a negative person. Me, I'm completely the opposite of that. I actually remove all people from my life that don't bring any value or positive energy and energy is something you can feel it's not so much so what you're saying you know what i mean it's what you're saying but at the same time it's what you can feel so that's the that's that's the fundamentals man whatever whatever's in your mind you can hold in your mind it could be it's possible if you act on it every day if you think about it the power of positive thinking the power the law of attraction the power of you know just what you give is what you get it's plain and simple it's very simple i know it's hard to comprehend because most people like to just sit in their bed or sit in the chair and wait for a miracle to just fall out the sky in their lap but it doesn't happen like that you actually have to reprogram your way of thinking before you know things come into fruition for you so hopefully this journey can be 
a great example of that because I'm very inspired, I'm very motivated, I'm very driven to, uh, you know, get this message across, get this energy across, and hopefully in return, I can reap the benefits of that in some way. The more I reap the benefits of it, the more I can give. The more I get, the more I give. The more I get, the more I give. The more I give, the more I get. The more I give, the more I get. That's how I look at it. So it's, it's completely self selfless in some ways, but of course we all need to be able to take care of ourselves. So I expect some kind of monetary gain from it as well. You know what I mean? Y'all get, get my point though, right? Like I'd rather be the type of person that's like actually showing y'all, proving to y'all through action, which I feel like I'm doing. Y'all can tell me if I'm doing a good job or not. I've been uh, pretty consistent with this. Yo, I get hype over just like, you know, comments or just like getting new subscribers, somebody that subscribed to the channel and then, you know, getting that feedback because this channel is a very positive place to be. This is the place you want to be in a time like this, in a pandemic. You want to be on my channel because I'm going to give you them positive vibes. I'm going to inspire you and motivate you to keep going, even through this rough time where it's, it's hard to keep going for us. Without a doubt, everybody, even if you're, you know, it doesn't matter how much money you have or what you have, it's just like, it's a hard time for everybody. So, you know, this is the channel you wanna be. So stay here, subscribe to this channel and, you know, check in periodically if you need that boost. Trust me, it's gonna be there. The content is gonna be like sporadic because this is just life. Life is sporadic, you know what I mean? But all for good reasons, I'm gonna continue to get on here and try to boost your confidence boosts your morale so thank you for joining me thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and i hope you have a blessed day i hope you have a wonderful day a nice day i hope you ate a good meal this morning inshallah and that's for everybody so uh yeah i'll catch y'all on the next one i'm about to i'm about to cool out y'all